Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cooker Lessons with a brilliant one. This is Branston Pickle, or my version anyway, and it's wonderful. Hello, in this video I'm going to be having a go at making my version of this stuff, Branston Pickle. Much beloved in the UK, if you're from anywhere else you may not have heard of it, it's, it's basically a chutney. Um, goes wonderfully with cheese, so a cheese and pickle sarni, which is a sandwich, is, is just incredibly popular in the UK. And um, yeah, I think you're going to really like this one. Alright, there's the ingredients, uh, looking nice. And I'm going to be preparing the vegetables. Um, I'll put two recipes in the description. One is exactly the one I've done, it's more for those people trying to reduce their calories, sugar and carbs and things, and a more regular one. So you can choose which one you want. And uh, when you're doing your vegetables, especially the hardy vegetables, so the carrot and the swede, and I know if you're in America, you're going, that's a rutabaga, okay, that's what you call it. And if you're in Scotland, again, that's a, that's a turnip. I know, but it's called a swede, right? Anyway, so we dice those up nice and evenly, and connoisseurs of a Branston pickle were like the original. So I'm trying to stick close in size to the original. There is an abomination you can buy now, which is a really finely chopped up one, which will go, apparently it's easier to put in a sandwich, but it's an abomination. Stop making that comments below, if you're triggered by my, my views there. Uh, dice in an onion, and try not to waste the bits around the core. Cost of everything nowadays, this is, uh, you know, having food could be one of those things that we remember as being a luxury. But don't waste the bits of onion. And a cauliflower there. I'm sort of roughly hacking up some chunky bits, some not so chunky bits. So some of that's going to break down and melt into the sauce and some bits will stay whole. It's all very nice. So into a big pot. What else have we got? Half a courgette or a zucchini. Separated by a common language, aren't we? And uh, yeah, just sort of pick a size of that. The sort of slightly softer veggies are going to break down a bit more. So you could be a bit bigger if you like. I'm happy with that. What else? What's next? A nice, oh, a nice Granny Smith apple. I like the Granny Smith for cooking. I think they've got a firmer texture, and you know, I like it. And leave the skin on. It's much healthier when you eat fruit if you eat the skin of the fruit as well. All right. That's allspice, cayenne, mustard seeds, garlic. You don't have to have the exact spices, but I do recommend something similar. And that is xylitol after the lemon juice. Xylitol is the substitute sugar malt vinegar and a, a bit of water and normally this classic recipe I think would just be dates but I've added prunes as well to help with the sort of sweetness and the colour so the two recipes you'll see in the description will be slightly different there and then I forgot those that is the uh, gherkins or uh, cornichons or pickles and uh, yeah I forgot them so I put them in after about 10 minutes no, uh, no damage done there so after about 30 minutes of simmering away over a sort of medium medium low heat don't let it catch you haven't got to stand there and stir it constantly but do don't forget about it and so after an hour or so i think we're just about there time to season now remember this when you season something that's going to be eaten cold when it's hot it you'll need to almost over season it if you like because you'll be able to taste that more when it's hot than when it's cold i have to explain that reasonably well sterilizing the jars that i've chosen with some boiling water straight from the kettle and yeah we're there we're good that's a handy little contraption I bought a little while ago because I do like to make preserves and things like that and it makes a much tidier job of getting it from the pot into the jars. And just, yeah, just tap that down a bit, feeling very pleased with yourself. A little bit of waxy paper on the top to help preserve it again. Pop your lids on, label them, and it's done. Right, so this is three days later. It, the pickle won't be at its best it won't be at its best for probably a few weeks still or maybe even a month or two but it's still blooming lovely so there we go this is the mystical cheese and pickle sarni something that cross and blackwell improved on in 1922 when they invented this thing called branston pickle and look at that yeah over to me but tasty so i've had i've been enjoying my sandwich here i just want to try the pickle on its own. To me, that is that. I've made that. Have a go at this. This one's a bit darker. The vegetable pieces are 
crunchier. So they're obviously not cooking theirs for as long as I cooked that one for, but I really like that one. Um, I really like that one as well. Although for me now, my taste, my palate is too sweet because you know I hardly have any sugar. I've almost completely tried to eradicate it from my diet. I'm not claiming that this is keto friendly because it does have the, the xylitol, which does have it's something like 40% of the calories or the sugar that normal sugar has. So it does still have sugar. I've cut it down and I've put some whole fruit in there, more fruit, like more prunes and dates. So um, that's definitely going to be good for me and my diet where I'm just basically not doing keto, but I'm really cutting down on the carbs and sugar. So that's great. I really love it. And um, a little bit of good news happened uh, last night. In fact, my channel finally hit the 20,000 subscriber mark and it's only taken nearly five years to get there. So, um, you know, I suppose we keep persevering, keep creating videos, and you never know one day if enough people like it, or share it, and make comments, and subscribe, and what have you, YouTube might get a message that there's something quite good here. Anyway, I really hope you do that. I hope you enjoy these videos, and I'll continue to make them. Anyway, and I thank you ever so much for watching this one, and I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye. It's this one. This is the one.